This is my first time ever experiencing going into beehives, let alone wearing a bee suit. I am so excited. Okay. This is a dad off from last year. So I'm just gonna. Oh, okay, they didn't survive. Take it apart. Let's see, this is just a bleed glue. See how sticky that is? Oh, yeah, and you said that's from the sap from the yep. trees? Sap from pine trees. Wow, to seal it up and protect it yep. over the winter. It's water. And I see some bees, or is that just. There might be a few in there. There's probably some ants or flies. Oh yeah, I see some mm -hmm. ants. Now they would protect from the ants, right? The ant, uh, ants usually don't bother the bees that much. Okay. I used to have a lot of them and it's just got to the point where I just didn't even bother with it anymore and never seemed to be a problem. Okay. okay this one's full of honey. Wow. Oh through. yeah, you can see where some of them didn't survive. And how heavy is that? You said it's full of honey. That's actually, I can tell by the weight. Can that be harvest or, or is that um, something? Yeah, I can actually harvest it or just give it back to the bees and they'll, they'll use it. So you could save that for them for like the winter time or something? Yeah, or like I said, I might extract that, see. Okay. Now the the black part on the inside, what is that versus the kind okay, of the honeycomb? This is a, this is capped comb. Uh-huh. So it's got actually honey in there. Oh yeah, wow. And this is this thing get filled and then there's a back... No, the background is actually plastic. And oh, okay. They build the comb off of that. I see the little bit of white interior. So like here, so that's the foundation, and yes. I see they build the wax up. Now it seems black. What is that? Is that just it's plastic? It's oh, plastic, and it's got even right here. Oh, well, that's it's dark because the more they, you know, put more bees, like produce bees in it, uh huh, or walk on it, it's yeah. dirty. So they got like dirty feet, and all this. Oh, it's just really dirty feet. It. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dirty feet, dirty feet. <laughs> dirty feet bees. Yeah, so they're, um, so a mouse kind of made a nest. Yep. And once you're down in there. So they, it was basically eating the honey all throughout the season. Yep. This is a little mouse like honey. It's a honey mouse. A honey mouse. Oh, oh yeah, look at all the... So you think, oh, that's completely empty, but it has comb, so it was just licking out the honey, you think? Wow. And then over here, unfortunately, these are the bees that didn't make it. No. I don't know the bottom. So this is a brand new hive. Oh, look at them. You have five. Five frames. Five frames in there. Do you have the queen um, in a? Nope, she be in there floating around. She's oh, she's by the by herself. Yep. Yeah, I wonder sure. if I can find her really quick. We will actually pull once, out. Once you pull it out, I'll see if I I can figure okay. it out. I'll look for the big one. Calm down, girls. It's just a little water. Oh. <laughs> wow, you can hear them get like no louder and louder. And what happens to the boys? Um, well, okay. I'll show you which, which is which here. Sure. Come down. We'll see. Oh, now I hear them getting loud. Oh,
This looks like they were working on it a little. Yeah, when I, I just took some stuff out of another hive just okay. to give them some space in case they needed it. Okay, so you have worker bees and you got nursery bees. Okay. The nursery bees would be on. Okay, these are all pretty much female. Okay. I don't see any drones, so the drone is a male bee. And all they do is eat and make it clean. I see some have a little so bit of a see all that color there? Black and white color. Some of them have more of a yellow orange color. Yeah, you you got a mixed breed of okay. bees at this point. You notice all that color in there? That's yeah. pollen. Oh, okay. All is different this... colors, different, different flowers and Oh wow, yeah, dark, yellow. It's almost like a rainbow of yeah. yellows and you see tans. blues and tans, I mean just Right. Let's see, let's see. It's a little bit in there. Oh yeah, absolutely. Now some of that is actually called bee bread. Bee bread. Which I... is probably a pollen, but they mix and see that's different, a little different looking. Mhm. Mm so they mix in honey with it. Wow, I've never heard of bee bread. That's fascinating. These are all you know, it's just working bees. See if I find one. Is that just like things. a little spider trying to make a friendly nest right there? Yeah, probably. Yeah. And they're not bothered by that? No. They figured they'll keep any other bugs if out. If they do, they'll, they'll kill it. <laughs> Maybe it's already dead. Mm. I don't see any queen yet. You can see it's right here. That's a, uh, actually, that looks like a queen, actually. Oh. Oh, yeah, the, she has a little the, bit of a bigger thorax. body. And she, um, Actually, it looks small for a queen, though. Could it be, like, one of the princesses? Unless another queen came in. Her body seems a little bit longer, a little bit smoother. Yeah, she should Not be as little, fuzzy. She, but now she should be a lot bigger. Yeah. You think she's new? Like, newly hatched? Well, it should have been bad hatched for a while ago. But that's definitely looks like a queen. There's right there. Yeah. That. She might not be laying yet. I should have the sun out. It's like a sea better. <laughs> you can't tell if there's any eggs in there, right? Oh, there she is, right there again. Yep. Dead center. She's walking forward a little. Now back. Yeah, she, I don't, she might have got. She might have made it, but it's just shortly ago. So she'll actually swell up and get bigger. Oh, that. okay. And that's actually here was a queen cup. So she would have came out of this. Oh, so that might have been hers. Wow. Yeah. And yeah, actually, there might be two queens in here. So I then you, you could before. separate, you could take the one out. Yeah, if I don't, the one will kill it all the way. Uh, right, exactly. And I've had, actually had that, which I was sitting there looking through the things, and like, I seen a queen, I flipped it over, and I seen a queen, and like, wait a minute, I looked back around, like, hey, there's two queens here. Wow. <laughs> so I grabbed it real quick. How soon would you have to separate her to protect her? Uh, as quick as possible. Oh, so you think you'll do it today? Um, well, I'll just see if there's another queen in here. I gotta find oh, it's not. in case. Oh, she could be maybe the replacement. No, there's another queen cell. It's been taken apart. Oh, wow. Taken apart. Two of them. This one needs some help. I'm not going to add some more bees to this one. Is it right there? Is that her? Uh, no. There's, I don't see any queens in here. Okay. Oh, no. They, they were just... Yeah, I'm gonna maybe get some more. More help on this one. Here's our last chance we'll, to find we'll, one. We'll, stay, we'll take some from there and these other boxes and give them some some more bees. Actually, all these. Right, no. They're really gentle right now. They're. I yeah, don't they're have pretty. any near me. I don't have any landing or buzzing around my head. They're all pretty content right by their box. Yeah, they got the queen and Out. So, I'll do for right now. And you just chose pulled some dry grasses from your yeah. the lawn just to keep the smoker going. Actually, 
drop them down. Okay, they go down. Oh, it's telling, so that one bee fanning. Yeah, other, you, you said that you'll see that more in it. It's telling the other bees where they are, um, where we got moved to. Alright, let's go through this one here and then we'll see if we can steal some more bees for help this one out. Letting off some pheromones, so it's just standing there the whole time. Now we have the big box. And this box has uh, empty. Yeah. Okay. Let's try to bring these down here. Okay, but yeah, I'm just gonna work from the back side since as they're coming in, and the next thing you know, you have this thirty thousand bees out there. Oh, like, hey, okay. Then I'll I'll, I'll, come, the, I'll come I'll come to your side then. Side. Okay. This is when you work on you want to be up to the side. Okay, away from the entrance. Wow! Uh, that is so cool! <laughs> so... Okay. That's a drone. See how fat they are? They have the big eyes. Oh yeah, they... Oh! Oh, they, big they, eyes. They have no stinger. Fat. No stinger. Fatter. So the only ones that got the, the stinger is the female bee and the queen. And the drone seeks out a new location, or it's in the fall, the worker bees or the, the female bees uh -huh. will actually drag them out and throw them out. Oh, so the the boys have to fend for themselves. Well, yeah, because what happens, males all they do is eat. <laughs> hear that, boys? Hey, what you know, our food, we work for it, so. You hear that, boys? All they do is eat. <laughs> eat and mate with the queen. Oh. Now, now I can see why the, the ladies are mad. Wow. Now, um, that's, that's all honeycomb. Now, that's the edible part. I could pinch that right off and chew it, almost like a waxy. Um, there might be some honey in it. Yeah, some oh, there is some honey in it, yeah. Sometimes there's... I'll put eggs in there. Okay. Wow, that was really clear, like clear as water. Let's get this off. You're not supposed to be doing this. You no, said you're not supposed off. to well, take not, these off, or? Well, this is my rule. <laughs> oh, but you're breaking your own rule. But then again, I don't rule the roost, so. <laughs> this is their, their little territory. Well, yeah. I don't know if you can see that one. It's just a little. I think it's probacula or something. That's how you say it. And that's how they eat that. It's like a little straw. That's how they eat. I'll look at that again. That was cool. Okay, this is going to be full, honey. I know that. I think it's got that already. Oh, get down. That's it. Oh, wow. That's not, oh, it's full, honey. So, okay, the, le the left side is capped a little bit, but not yep. the whole thing. Yeah, so you can see, you can see it glossy. Okay, wow. So you'll it's give that how many more days to cap it? Um, it's hard to say. I mean, it might be a week. Sometimes they just have a hard time capping it. Okay. Because there's a queen cell right there. Oh, wow, yeah. And it's actually going to be opened up real shortly. So that, that one's about to hatch, like any... Yep. So and that. what about those bumps there? That's drone. That's actually the, the male. Oh, male. So male they're pump. a little bit bigger, so that's why they're a little bigger. Gotcha. Okay. So this one here, since we got that, I am going to. That's kind of weird. I usually don't put them on top.
And you're separating them, why? Well, they got that queen cell. If I leave that, then they oh. so can swarm and then... It creates a new hive. Oh, okay. So I just kind of keep some in my, my yard. Wow. So this is how you create more hives and just looking yep. out for those cells and separating them quick enough. How often do you come out here? Um, I used to come out once a week. I haven't really been really bad about it this year. I just had some other things. So it looks like them. I see a few drones, but okay, where are the cells the for... um? find any doing a dance cell. Where are the, um, the female eggs or... Where they're um, being... That's what I'm looking at. Actually, I don't see any eggs here, but they're probably down further. Okay. Usually, they don't know further down. They protect them at that's the bottom. That's why I'm surprised to see that queen cell up there. That's what's with this here for me. There's a holding spot. Yeah, even there. Let's see. I doubt they'll stay. These are more like ones that are foraging. Most likely. Lots of drones. One of these boxes, how many bees do you think it could hold? Each, like each, each box was approximately 10,000 bees. 10,000 bees in one of these sections of boxes. Yeah, a good, a good hive. One of these could hold easily 70, 80,000 bees. Wow. And that's holding all of them, or some of them are out? out. You um, think that's the total? Like all of them. Okay, that's all, all of them, and then they all come in at night. Yep. See, I see all of them are clustered right here in a circle. What is that? Um, they're either maybe trying to fill in some of these things, like some of the honey. Oh, I can see, yeah, there's you'll, a few sections see that. of that. It'll do that. This is pretty much all honey. And that's all honey. Lots of honey. Well, here's, I don't know if you can see this. Right here. Uh huh. It's got pollen on his leg. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Pollen sac. So they'll they'll chew on that for a while and yeah, then. They actually take that and put that into the cells. They'll oh, the pollen. The leg, and then oh. They'll stick it in, those, in the cells. Okay. So that's how they accumulate it. But basically, their the eyes, everything has hairs in it. So uh -huh. they'll get in a flower and it gets all over them, and then they have like little combs. And they'll comb all that and. Bring it to the back legs. Okay. The honey, and they store and it. And then they store it. Almost like fanny packs. So, like the bee bread, that's for long term storage. When it's more of a drier pollen. Mm hmm. That that's, for, wow, that's full. Cool. That's for short term. So, would you harvest that whole thing right there? Yep. Wow. Oh, cell. there's another. Is it? That's not hatched. Storm cell. Yep. Two of them. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's see Come on, son, please. These are sea things. Because it's, it's so dark in here, it's hard to. Right. Spot. There might be some eggs in there. That's. There's the queen right there. Isn't, oh no, never mind. I got excited. Oh, see all that yellowish there? Yeah. That's actually bees in there. That's actually oh, that's bees. all the. Okay. So that's where they, they cap them, and then after 21 days or 22 days, they catch. Okay, and then once they hatch, do they store honey after that? Um, the queen will usually come around, like, like up here they might. Usually at the bottom, they'll just kind of. Um, queen will come back through and they'll clean it, she'll clean it out. And, so you, you would never scrape all that off. You leave that by its leave it alone. Yep. And then go to just let them do their thing. Okay. So they'll have a section of eggs, a section of 
honey, a section of... Yeah, you, you'll see some. How come you didn't want that one? Swarm. Is there a queen in that? Or is it There's empty? In there. Oh, so it's empty. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, oh wow, a whole here. section of drones and queens? Really? Oh, come on, come on. More queen cells. More smokes. Get up there. Can you... So, how I come you don't want... I, I, just, I can't really... I know, it's, I don't want to speed too much. So you can't keep all those queens this, while you're... I could. I mean, I could put them in um, another thing and then let them hatch out. Or I'd just take this whole thing and stick it in there. Okay. But right now, I just... This is enough for me right now. So there's some other things going on. Wow, that's amazing. Um, but I literally had pretty much most of these filled with hives last year. It was a ton of work. <laughs> Let's see if there's any eggs in there. If you could put like bees in a like open barn, would that help protect them in the winter time, or would that? Um, end? actually, doesn't really help them at all. Okay. Um, they actually they could keep inside of that hive at the inside of like where the queen is, in mm -hmm. the middle of the cluster. They'll keep it about ninety-two degrees, and in... the outside of you are seventy-five degrees of that cluster. So the, wow. the, the reason, the way they can actually regulate is they, they cluster together and they, they use like body heat from each other. So even on like a 20 degree oh, yeah. temperatures in the teens, well, you know, still be, yeah, 20 degree, 15 degree Fahrenheit. I, I see lots eggs. of drones. I think I'm seeing eggs, but... Um, that one really has its head inside. I just need some light now. I don't get any light right now. Most likely, I don't know, it depends if there's anything in there. Yeah, there's some eggs in there. So is that that big one? Is that a drone or is that a? Um. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. Looks bigger. The queen, you'll, you'll see, it should be mostly on a pretty empty frame because this this I think this is pretty much filled with some you know, either eggs or okay and this is capped honey that's actually brood that was brood okay. actually bees that's honey yep okay on the side so you there. see the difference in the color it's oh yeah totally like beigey it almost has like a you kind of lose that octagonal shape after Or should I say hexagon? I think I said that wrong. I want to say a little bit of a roundish look. So yeah. Kept oh, another queen. Yeah, They're really trying to create some queens. Oh, two of them. Yeah. That one looks like it's open. Or maybe they were yeah. feeding it. And at the moment yeah, you're seeing, looking for the queen or seeing. I'm kind of just glancing for her. I don't really expect her to be here. Just from what I'm seeing what's open spot of the cave. Let's see if I can see one. Well, that's a, a new bee right there. It just came out probably within a day or so. It's that one's a only a day or so old. Yeah. It's a, it's a little baby bee. Just going on about their business, doing their stuff. Okay, uh, get a chance, close the door, please. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I 
there's another one. That one. See what I'm saying? Oh wow, yeah. this one's. Oh, that was a larva. It was. They were sealing that. The larva. Yeah, actually, I think that was a germ. Oh, okay. That, one. that one's open. Uh, that one might have actually been killed by the raccoon. There's one inside. Now, if you say one queen emerges and there's a bunch more of these, she'll go around, open the cell a little bit, and I steal them and kill them. That's a, that's a, that's a, I swear I'm not allergic to bees. Yeah, a bunch of fine running yeah. That's all right. I'm not bothered at all. I can hear them. I can oh, hear them all yeah. around my head. Kind of of thing. That's I right. am. I probably yeah, shouldn't be right there. That's right. I'll find it. I'll be... One time I put a fence. That one front. is awfully big, but not a queen. Oh, that's, a, that's a drone. Can you repeat that? That was actually really interesting. So if you have PTSD, that... that keeper. I actually get over like that. That volume of buzzing is actually more therapeutic. And supposedly, smelling like the, the scents within the beehive mm -hmm. is supposed to be good for you. They say that most beekeepers live longer than other people that don't be, be beekeeping. Hear that, everyone? That. <laughs> you live longer if you're a beekeeper. That's heavy. Oh, it's dripping like crazy. Yeah, there's probably some stuff on there. Yeah. Alright. Close that one up. Um, they, they build this out too far. So then it catches on the thing. Oh, and that's why it rubbed away. Yeah, that's why you got that extra honey there. I'm just going to start building on that. I hope you get closer to the thing. Sometimes you'll see, you'll see brew, and then you'll see honey, mm -hmm. and then sometimes like between that you'll see some um, pollen, and then yeah, sometimes it's a very typical frame, or you'll see nothing but brew, that's when you get a really good, good queen. Smaller pupa and stuff like that. Let me see. Let me pass it. Let's go in here somewhere. I bet it's in the bottom one. The, hard part the is very bottom. If they start getting this big, it gets a lot harder to find a queen. Thank you, son. I can see you better. I can't brew, so there was a queen here or something. Let's see if I can eggs. Let's see eggs in there. Oh, the baby bee. Let's see if I see any beyond dances. Come on, do the bee dance. <laughs> so the bee will these 
so when they first come out and to learn the area, like when they first 12, 14 days, they're in the hive, they're like a nursery. And when they become foragers, when they do that, they'll actually come out and they'll fly around the front and then they'll start making circles bigger and bigger up higher. Mm -hmm. and they're sending their GPS coordinates to where the hive is. Wow, and that's for themselves or for and other bees? And then, no, that's for them. So then when they go off the forest, they know exactly where to come back to. Just from doing that little bit of spinning over yep. the hive. GPS coordinates. And then, let's see what the final one is doing the dance and show. We'll that one's one. awfully big and black. That's a drone? Yep, that's a drone. That feels like my leg. That's a honey. Another drone. Alright, so... Next box. Look at that. I'm going to pull that. It's going to be a bunch of honey dripping. It's going to drip all over. <laughs> you might get some... Uh, over here. <laughs> might get some brown bears down here. All excited. <laughs> Not the black bears. The, the brown bears are going to come right down. Mm -hmm. Big grizzlies. Starting to build a comb there. I see it starting right in here, through the yellow. Mm hmm. I'm starting to build a comb out. Maybe I should be putting that one cell back in here. I don't know if it's about a queen or eggs. She is doing the baby yet. Oh, you mean that one you have off to the side in the other box? Why not? Yeah, I might actually have to just put that, that one back because I don't see it. any eggs or a queen. That might be a queen that they need. They need a queen? Because so far we saw about, what was it, maybe six queen cells? Uh, probably about eight or ten. Eight or ten? Mm -hmm. And that's all for protection of keeping the well, hive going? to propagate in order to keep the, the colonies going. Right. It's automatic, like in the spring, it's a ritual. Thing. What happens if a queen dies in the wintertime? Um, probably she die, usually. I've actually had one come out of winter with no queen. Mm -hmm. As a, luckily, I caught it quick enough to where I got um, I got a frame that had eggs in it, stuck it in there, and then it produced a queen. And actually, went real wild. She's the one that was by the house. Wow. She ended up dying this year. I have that one going. Okay, see how they're, they're kind of like all stuck together? Yeah. That's, that's when they're building wax. On things, uh, so. Okay, and then yeah. it looks see, like another see, no. queen or a drone, right no. there. See where there's one's up here? That's usually a replacement cell. Usually, they want to okay. replace a queen. And actually, oh, is that no? Never mind. <laughs> Everything looks like a queen. Actually, you can see. That one has awfully big wings right there, but maybe that's... Yeah, put it down. See what you do, see it roll a little bit and I'll move. That's insane. So I see I'll leave that there. If that's where you place my queen, maybe they lost their queen somehow. So I'm gonna leave that, especially since it's at the bottom. Mm-hmm. I mean, at the top, it's at the bottom, there's a, there's usually swarm cells, that means they want to swarm. And usually what happens is, shortly before this other queen hatches, about half your bees will take off with the, the old bee, mm -hmm. old queen, and they'll find it at home.
kind of bad feeling there because I mean, there's a bunch of cap cells. So you only have one box left to look in. It's just not the easiest sometimes. So no queen, so that one right there will probably be the replacement queen. Yep. I don't know. Yeah, actually, it's, it's getting darker here. There's a little rim. Yeah. I mean, it's probably next day or two she'll be hatching. I mean, oh, so that one's and Usually when there's no queen, they pack away the, the nectar like crazy. Some people actually take the queen out just to produce more honey. I put it in like a small hive and then put it back. Like if I need to, you say I have a small hive and I want to spruce one up, mm -hmm. I could take one box of the newspaper and put a hole so I put one box of another hive stick on there. <clears throat> and then with a couple of days I'll merge together, but it gives them a chance to get used to the pheromones that they're clean. Okay. And then they'll all stop there and they'll just kind of work together. That's beautiful. Ones. So that's one and you then, could definitely harvest. If you notice, okay, this here, mm -hmm, that it's white. white, white. Okay, that's dry capping. Mm -hmm. And what's dark like this is called wet capping. What's the difference between the um, white? There's not really a whole lot. It's just that there's a little bit of an air gap between the honey and here. Uh -huh. As we're here, it's tight against the honey, so that's why it makes it darker. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna leave that one. It's like here, so you know, it's all nice and white. Oh, yeah, you're right. So, with the sun. Uh, let's just go through this one last box real quick. I know there's no clue in here. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through it. Nothing really to see at this point. I'm going to replace anything else. So. so now you're eventually, yeah, essentially one creating one. two hives. Now you have your one queen already in your one box. And, that's the, and then they're going to produce another one with that. They'll hatch a queen out of this one in the I'll next probably, few days. This thing here. Let me do that lid right here. on this for right now. We'll go through these ones, other ones. Mm -hmm. We'll go ask if there was actually some uh, brood in it. Help them out. Royal jelly. Queen gets royal jelly. This is a queen. Okay. The worker bee gets royal jelly for the first, I think, two, three days. Where do you find the royal jelly? By the queen the whole time? Um, you'll kind of see it. Let me, let me, let me go through these other hides with the queen. Okay. Um, you'll see. You might be able to show me there. Yeah, I'm sure. Because they'll actually you'll see like a, like, a, like a liquid in there with an egg and a flowers. Okay. You said these are Italian bees? And, well, I do were, but now they're pretty much mutts. Oh, mutts. Yeah, they, they could be pretty much they could be Italian, they could be Sacra, they could be up fast. It's just, that's why you see they all look kind of a little different. You don't see it all the same. Right, a little bit of black so and white, bees, a little bit of... It's hard to tell the difference. There's a lot of, so much alike. Because I never like really like okay bought a pure like a pure bread, which I don't know if this is even true anymore. Wow. Nectar, nectar, nectar. Is that a hundred percent their comb or is that a that's all nectar there? So, uh, so they um, built that from scratch? Yep. Because I know you had some, um, one of those, I guess, engineered ones that's to help assist them. Yeah, these these are actually with the foundation. This is actually built. this is wax foundation. Wax foundation. Okay. 
All right, the reason I know that is, see the little wire going through here? Bang, yes. Bend the bottom. So that's actually what there is. It's wax and it gets wires that kind of gives us some strength. Okay. So as if you, is this regular wax without that, go like this, or we want to collapse on you. Oh. You like bow down. Okay. Add this box just to give some room to bring the nectar. So it's probably just give a couple of these and then put this. Cause I already see some honey in there. It's really cool, man. This is pretty good, don't we? Have to add an extra extra box to this one. All the drones, there's larvae right yeah. there. Are they, they kind of build off the, off the bottom? Okay. Usually, if you notice, yeah. all that. Um, this is actually this is where most of the mice are. Sometimes and, you can look and you'll see the mice. I don't really see any yet. You don't see any mites, right? No. That's good. Just see a little, like a little tiny little kind of thing. And get up there. Well, so then, getting rid of the drones is always good. Cause that yeah. that that's all drones. Those little ones. Yep. Okay. They wouldn't treat the females the same? These would be the males. I mean, the females, how can you tell? Well, drones are these other males, and these, that's what they build off the bottom there. It's like I'll show you in this next one. I'm just lucky there be some drone cells on it. Okay. See, like, that's how if you start. Oh, drones? Start looking at you see them all down, usually down here. So okay, you see them up there, but. This is all females. It seems like, yep. And then the drones so are built drones at the bottom. Drones are usually bottom or they'll stick up real high. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can Let's see this. Well, right, it seems like every right one of these here, is honey. You see the little white things in there? It looks like a little, like little yes. bugs. Oh, yeah. That's the bee, like bees actually being the pupae stage. and See if I so can actually focus it. It's so, you know, my yeah, camera it's, it's not the can't easiest. capture it. I can see it, but my camera right. can't. Yeah, it's not the easiest for cameras. But they're they, so they're all zoom. sitting in right here, and they'll yep. seal that up, and then they'll grow and yep. develop. Yeah, once they get to the bigger stage, which uh, these are really small. Uh, they took these here. Freshly laid eggs, and then you see some of the younger pupae. Can you get with the camera this way? With the sun in there? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see them. Yeah, the little white spots are the babies or the. So you see, like, it looks like a little piece of rice in there. That's the one. They're kind of standing up and then making yeah. them down. That's the eggs, fresh eggs. Wow. So the queen's probably not too Nearby. far. Nearby. Not too far. And usually be a bunch of bees around the queen. There's a big huddle of them right so, there. Trying to hey, get what's my up, girls? Oh, he's trying to get my glove back on. Feeling like the, you, know, you can kind of see here they're getting a little bigger in size. Oh yeah. And like so twice probably size. within a few more days I'll be capping it. Come on. And those larvae just eat the little bit of honey that's inside there? Yeah. So, you see like a little bit of a shiny in there. It looks like maybe like nectar. But that's actually real, real jelly. And then they get what's called <coughs> worker jelly. Which doesn't, so it doesn't have, it has some, whatever, they, they, the worker bees produce the royal jelly up through their head or something. I can't remember how that actually works. And I'm not put it in there. Like see all that yeah, that kind of the Greek stuff? That's probably some real jelly in there. Shiny, yeah. Kinda of like uh, see how it's like a little shiny where the larva is? Yeah. That's real jelly. So that's that's one way you could get it. Let's get that as a whole bunch right here. Cause I know people go after that. They'd rather yeah, have royal yeah. jelly than regular honey. I heard it doesn't taste good at all. <laughs> that tastes very nasty. <laughs> I never tried it. Yeah. I guess 
when I've had it, I put it in coffee, so I'm not entirely uh, sure. I should <laughs> I should have tried it by itself. <laughs> and then let me see. Here. Okay, this is what the this is what they call practice cells for queen cells. They kind of practice it. So there's usually nothing in there. That's how they practice building them. They call them practice cells. See any bee dances? Oh wow, that is really colorful. It's just a rainbow of yeah. That is beautiful. You see it? See the other little cluster in the bottom there? Yeah. There she could try and build wax. That's how they do it. They pass, actually, they build wax flakes. It's on the abdomen. I'm trying to see if I can spot one with a custom on there. It's usually the younger bees, too. That is so pretty. Those are all the colors I want in my house right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm documenting this exact moment because I am going to have every one of those colors decor in my home. Very therapeutic. Camera, I don't know how to hang out to a frame. Okay. She might be in the brown box. There are so many bees now. Well, she should be in the first three. The bottom three, she said. I haven't seen much of that lately. Only one or two There's of ones. One right there, down the bottom. Come up this way towards me. I think you see it it's right now. Oh yeah, look at all that. There's the pollen. Oh, there he is. They call them pollen pants. <laughs> pollen pants. I keep losing him. He moves, he moves so quickly. Oh, yeah, moves oh, fast. There, there he is. Up oh, now, he's on the other side. You get a, you get a virgin queen. That's what she just made it. Man, they're like got tons of shoes on. Man, they run the hardest spot. Running so fast. So, pollen. Ouch. Uh oh, through the pants? Oh, is he going? Are they going in? Oh, yeah, they got me earlier. I I knew I knew right Sometimes away it was prickers. Sometimes they try to get you through your pants, but they don't quite, can't reach far enough. So, you feel like the little pick pricker a little bit, and that's it. Right. I just felt the prickers, you know, of the stinging needle or whatever that is behind me. Thickets. Okay, that, let's see how this looks all wet. Mm -hmm. That's bee bread. Bee bread. Can so you that's, eat that's that? That's for long term. Yeah. So that's more like for long term. Um, super shiny, storage. super rainbowy. Can I try and get the sunny side of that? Look how, wow. So rainbowy. I'm just trying to get a close up. Take a look at that. Reds, yellows, blues, purples. Mm. Oh my gosh. Box. box from Poppy. Pause and take a picture of that. Wow. It's a, yeah, it literally looks like a church. Like you ever see yeah, all yeah. the it's every the color glass. like of stained glass you would ever see at a church. It's the bees version of a Vatican. <laughs> oh, Beautiful yeah. colors. Yeah, wow. Thanks for. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. Oh, how pretty is that? These are the exact colors I want in my home. I said that earlier, but I'm going to say it again. That is gorgeous. <laughs> Something that fries him up and fries him up.
Yeah, you know, I was standing in the front a, a then, lot, so well, that. So that they go like this, and they'll be on the front landing. I'm like, don't go there, and you'll just fall up there. And like... All right, last chance. Let's see our queen bee. I'm gonna try and stay away from the center, I mean, the front. I'm upsetting them right by now by being at the front of the hive. And you said that's holding that together is actually pine sap. Yep. They pick up pine sap to seal the edges. They bring it just like the same way as they do the pollen. They put little bags in. I'm gonna come around to your side so I'm less bothersome. That oh. last hive was so pretty. I'm like, I'm still it's obsessed it's with it's seeing. The bottom, it. got for Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, that's how they're building the wax. Yeah. Wow, so they're working they together do. like in a cluster it's, of like yeah. 50 of it's them. The, it's basically, it's a big organization of everyone working together. Organized chaos. <laughs> basically. And a lot of people think I'll see the queen is what used to, or like. They take stuff. It's not really that. It's not really true. The actual workers get chilling. The people decide, not the leader. Well, there's one with orange. Where the hell they go? Orange? There's orange yeah, right there. Oh, orange oh, pollen. Oh, little pollen, yeah. Oh, I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a lot of that, but. Oh, you see with that, you see with that. Okay, that's a much more. Alright, let's see my queen. Wow, some of them look like they don't even have eyes. That one right there has like Like everyone has like black eyes. That one's all white right there. Oh yeah. This is one of the newer bees. That's why. It's a what bee? It's a newer, like a baby bee. Oh, baby bee. Yeah. Okay, so their eyes aren't fully developed. They have to. I think they have more hair or something. Or or, or develop more hair. Okay. And then eventually they plant something more off and they change to a color on their eyes. Come on, Queenie. Where are you? I see eggs and stuff. There's a picture of eggs in there. Oh, something. This is one sneaky queen. She can eat down here. A lot of baby bees in here, man. There's that rainbow. There's a lot of them hatching. That's this great. Is, this thing's expanding like crazy. So these will actually be like nursery bees or small ones. Wow, so they'll actually take care of all the the bees in the um, nursery area. And they're actually the ones that build the comb too when they're after like four or five days old. Alright, let's see my queen there. Yeah, oh, they're... Yeah, you'll see them kind of hanging all down. Yeah. I wish I could do the surgery in their dance. Actually, they're sort of doing it a little bit. They'll go up and down. Like a like a, like a country dance or something like that. Finally got the queen. Here she comes. See how the thorax is kind of bald. Oh yeah, she's huge. That's a nice husband. She's going around. She's hiding. Yeah. She, and there she, she is. There? Okay. Yeah, she's flipping her wings. <laughs> oh, she's not. She's not happy. She's like, hey, I'm trying to hide from you. <laughs> Keep me out of the light. There she is. Big one right there. Mm -hmm. 
That's a nice queen. I like when they're a little darker. They seem to be better queens too. And she's All right. hiding. All right, Queenie. Down Sorry. Down I'm just go through the last couple of queens and the coats. You got a queen. All right, I have to see this again. That was really pretty. See, see the brand new comb? Yeah, and then like. if you turn the other the, side. Either it'd be yellow or it'd be like a whitish color. And turning it back over. Look at that a rainbow of... I'm just slowly panning over each spot. Get the whole thing, it's just a nice picture frame of. Oh, yeah. I absolutely want stained glass looking just like this, like all my windows. Wow, it's so pretty.